It tastes like burning! What's up everybody? This is Ingram. I am one of the Minecrafters and today we are going to take a look at how to install Sfax Pure Beady Craft for Mac or on a Mac because Macs hate zip files. Okay, to get started, go to the Minecrafters.com. There is a link on the Minecrafters homepage called Texture Packs. On there, there's a link for Sfax Pure Beady Craft that takes you to this nifty little page which has instruction guides for six different Insulations for Swax for Reedy Craft with Tekkit, Tekkit Light, Volts, Technic, Feed the Beast, Craft like that. We're going to do Tekkit Classic because Ingram is feeling nostalgic. Go ahead and click that link. It takes you to this step by step tutorial. In the step by step tutorial, you can either follow this or follow the video. We're going to do the video today for Max because a lot of people have been asking because they are tricksy. Click on this first link in section one here, which takes us to the base uh, Swax folder, zip file, download thingy. And then the second one we're going to click is going to take us to the patch, which we're going to merge the patch files into the base file and get a nifty little sfaxified texture pack. Okay. Uh, you click the first link, takes you to this page. Click the download link on this page. Whoops, don't do that. Uh, takes you to this page. Uh, depending on what Minecraft version you are using, you need to pick. You need to know what Minecraft version I'm using Tech It Classic today because I am going feel like going back an entire year in the history of Minecraft. Um, if you are doing Feed the Beast Ultimate, go ahead and grab this 152 column. If you are doing Feed the Beast, uh, Feed the Beast Unleashed 152, Feed the Beast Ultimate 147, uh, Tech It Light 147, Tech It Classic 125. You know the drill. Go ahead and grab. I'm going to grab 16x. This will work on any version, any resolution version. 128 is kind of intensive on your computer. 16x because this is a piece of crap. Nine-year-old laptop. I'm going to go with 16x and again Minecraft 125 because that is what. Uh, the Tekkit Classic runs on. Go ahead and click that. Loads up this AdFi page, which everybody seems to loathe. But the trick is to ignore everything you see below this giant blue thing. This really helps to have AdBlock on, which probably doesn't give Sfax any money, but those ads are all lies. That will download. It's only 2.4 meg for the 16x version. While that thing is cooking, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the patch file. If we go ahead and click that link, it's going to take us to this page. We're going to go ahead and click uh, add on download page. Woo! That's going to take us to this page, which is going to take us to a link for all the downloads. 128, 64, 32, 16. Go ahead and grab the one. Um, technically, these don't have to match, but if you downloaded, for example, I downloaded 16 of the base, I should probably download 16 of the patch. doesn't really matter, but it's just good form to have the same resolution. Go ahead and click that. There is no ad fly on this one. Thanks to Tama63. You can see that that's 5 meg that's downloading and we will be right back. Once you've gone ahead and downloaded those two things, you can take a look at them in your downloads folder. Woo! Here is the base. Go ahead and double click that to open it up and it will unzip. Just remember the different names. Go ahead and double click the patch as well to unzip. And once those are done, I'm going to actually open them in different pages. We'll do base on the left and patch on the right. Now the trick is very tricky. Grab all the patch files on the right and drag them into the base folder on the left. It's going to ask you to do this, this replace crap. Hit apply to all. Do not replace. That is where most people get this screwed up. Don't replace. We're going to do that manually and it is going to suck. What we have to do is we have to manually merge these folders. We'll start um, with this folder here. Anim has a bunch of custom things from the patch. So open the Anim folder, get all the things inside it, and drag it to the Anim folder on the base on the left side. Do the same thing for armor. Deep. Drop that in there. GUI. Now you may have different ones than me because I'm doing Ticket Classic. It doesn't matter. The procedure is exactly the same. Do not overwrite any folders. If it asks you, do not. You have to do a manual merge. And there it is. Now, if we back up one level, this is the file that we just modified. Let's just rename this. And then, I derped, I derped. Hang on, folks. I derped it up. Okay. This is Sfax. 
X16 for Ticket Classic. Wonderful good. And now we are going to merge that and put that in our texture packs folder. Woo! Now there are a couple different ways to get to the texture packs folder. You can either click in Minecraft ever since 125 at least has had this button called texture packs. It might be in options uh, if you're on a newer version, but go ahead and find the texture packs button. There's a texture pack folder button. If you click that, it typically should open the texture packs folder. Sometimes it doesn't work. So you have to go to uh, finder, go to go to folder library or tilde library application support, and then look for a folder I'm using the technic launcher. So look for the technic folder. If you're using the feed beats launcher, it's going to be named differently Then mod packs, then tech it. That's the mod pack we're doing. And then of course, finally texture packs. Now, all we need to do is grab the Sfax X16 for ticket clocks that we just made or for ticket volts, whatever the heck you're doing, doesn't really matter. And you can see that it immediately becomes available in this one. And if we go ahead and click that, it will load the files and then we can click done. You'll know that the texture pack has been applied when you see the background and everything change. You'll see all the buttons change. They look all different. They look all nifty. Hit done again. This is annoying. You only have to do this in the earlier versions of Minecraft when it actually loads the texture pack files into memory. Then you go ahead and notice, see how everything's different now. And if we go ahead and load into the Mac demo world that I created, we will see that everything is fly. And if we go ahead and load in here, we can see that everything actually looks better. Even in X16, it does look better than default. However, this looks like a piece of crap because again, my computer can't handle anything more than X16 because again, it's an old piece of crap. And just for nostalgia's sake, everybody remember the Mark III collector? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I love it. I click on the GUI. Oh, it is making all the EMC. And that's all there is to it. If you screwed something up, you will notice white blocks. You will notice a white screen of doom. If you notice a white screen of doom, it means that your resolution is too high. You're probably using 128. You should be using 64, 32, 16, something less than what you're using now. It's running out of memory. If you see white blocks, things aren't textured, you probably screwed it up. Some of the packs, patches for the pack, do not actually have all of the textures. For example, that Tekkit Classic thing that I just used does not have any of the Railcraft textures. You can either find them and patch them manually or just suck it up. I would find them and patch them manually because not being able to see all of your train stuff kind of stinks. Anyway, if you're doing something else, you're doing it wrong. That's how to do it. You just saw me do it so you know that it is actually possible. If you get stuck, post something on our, either on the description of this video or something on our website, theminecrafters.com. This has been Ingram, one of the Minecrafters. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped all the people that have asked for it, especially that guy on the volts thing. You can do the same procedure for every single mod pack that is out there. It's all the same. And this is for Mac. Do it with zip files on Windows. It's a buttload easier. Thanks for watching. Stay poised.